Hey folks, AG Squared here. Today I'm here to share something that happened to me not too long ago that is hard for me to talk about. Around a week ago, I was cyber assaulted on Facebook Marketplace. Yes, it is difficult for me to, to admit this, but I have to come forward because this is a real issue going on in the world. Now, as you all know, for the last seven years, I've been in the real estate business where I buy homes, renovate them, and ultimately rent them out to individuals. With eight homes and over 24 renters that I self-manage while prioritizing my full-time career, it's fair to say I'm pretty good at what I do. In those six years, I've tried to be as transparent and share information that informs renters of their rights and empowers them with the knowledge so that they can minimize the chances of being scammed. All right, with that context, let me show you what happened. So here I am, minding my own business at work when I get a Facebook message. Now, before sharing this message, let's take a look at the Facebook Marketplace post that this message came from. As I share this post, tell me, what do you think? Does it contain what you'd expect if you were looking for a room to rent? The first thing you'll notice in my post is a short one minute video where I show a virtual walkthrough of the entire house. I like doing this because it gives people a chance to see things in motion in addition to all of the pictures that I also provide as part of that post. What I'm trying to do here is visually showcase how this house looks like. Next, let's review that description. Look how informative it is. I describe the house, its layout. I even outline everything about the rent, mentioning how much rent is based on the room and also based on the lease duration. I share the house rules, what appliances are included, I even provide a ballpark on its location and also inform people that each bedroom has individual locks and keys. I even go to share how individuals can go about applying and what to expect. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Does this information seem appropriate to you? Does it seem informative and what you would expect to see in a particular post involving a potential rental? Or does it kind of come off as scamish? Drop in those thoughts below. So now let's actually walk through this Facebook message. Warning, this material is not suitable for minors nor children. It is R rated and it's not advised for those with a medical history of heart conditions. Okay, with that out of the way, let's open up the message from Mackenzie. She starts the conversation in such a lovely manner, right? Accusing me of being a scammer and telling me to get a life. And of course, in the, in the heat of the moment, I'm taken back by this. And I legitimately wonder if she is tripping on something or has taken some form of a drug. I don't know. It definitely seems like it. She then goes on to say, for $750, laughing my ass off, how stupid can you be? And then replies to my question on whether she's on drugs by proceeding to say that she's gotten scammed in the past by a similar post using these pictures. Well, unfortunately, lady, I can't control what people do with my valid posts. I wish Facebook or McKenzie would just tell me what those posts are so I can report them to Facebook and get them taken down. But I'm very confused with this $750 comment. What do you all think? Is, is that too much? Is it too little for a room? I really don't understand what her point is in calling out $750. Well, after I tell her that that's what the room is, she basically starts accusing me of trying to steal money from people. Don't really know what that's all about, but of course, afterwards, I tell her that based on her attitude and the way she's effectively verbally assaulting me, that she's permanently banned from renting any of my properties, to say the least. I'm, of course, sort of trolling her a little bit, but hey, she kind of deserves it. But when I tell her to please get some help, I'm actually seriously concerned about her. This behavior is not how a mentally sane person should behave. I also tell her that I've reported her to Facebook for verbal abuse. Remember folks, that is a valid option. If you feel like you're being verbally assaulted by people online and getting cussed out for no reason, report them on that platform. Her response to this is that she doesn't give any f and well, that's no surprise there. And she asks me if I want a cookie. Real quick folks, I always want a cookie, 24 seven. So Mackenzie, if you wanna ask someone that question nine times out of 10, the answer to that's gonna be yes, please. So give everyone a cookie. Don't bother asking them if they want a cookie, just give. All right, then she tells me to get a job, which is very amusing because if you all subscribe to my channel, you all know that I have a very fulfilling 
job that pays very, very well. I worked very hard to get to where I am at in that career, obtaining a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, and gaining experience over a span of 10 years in this sector. In addition to the six years I've been in the real estate business. And check this out. She then starts being a creep and sends me an old profile picture and shares a picture of that one minute video where I appear when filming the bathroom, proceeding to tell me I'm not the same person in the picture and that I need to take my post down. She doesn't seem to think that's me. Do, do, do you think I look that differently? I mean, the pictures are only like three, four years apart. I, I, I don't know if I should feel insulted or if it's a compliment. I, I, what, what do you think? Let me know. So at this point, I lead with empathy and I take a step back and attempt to ease her aggression by giving her my condolences. If she did in fact get recently scammed by someone, I don't wish that on anyone. Part of my real estate business mission is to spread awareness and information to protect renters from being scammed and teach them how to spot those scams so that they can avoid them. So I shared with her two videos, which I'll link above here, and where in one of those, I talk about how to establish mutual trust between a landlord and a renter. And the other video is where I talk about best practices when searching for a place to rent. I was hoping that this would calm her down and that she would realize her mistake in accusing me of being a scammer. Unfortunately, as you can see, she says that she doesn't need help and calls me a d Well, it was worth a try. But that she'll get help if I get a real job, which is very amusing because she just said she didn't need help. None of this makes any sense. At this point, y'all, I kind of have had it. I'm actively working full-time in my career. I need to shift my focus to something that is important. I cannot invest any more seconds of my very premium and expensive mental attention to this person. So I respond with legendary passive aggressive Facebook blue thumbs up reaction. But here's what really rocked my world. She replied back with that same reaction. Like, oh my God, can you imagine how I felt in that moment? Totally devastated. I almost decided to call in sick from work after that, but I persevered and continued working because that's the type of person I am. The last message I sent to this person was to let them know that I reported them to Facebook yet again for verbal abuse. And Facebook asks you if you want to send a transcript to them for their analysis. And of course, I told them a resounding yes, please. But in all seriousness, if you know this person, please check in on them. They appear to be suffering from a mental breakdown or is actively lashing out for whatever reason. And if you're someone looking for roommates, I encourage you to avoid this person. Or if you're looking to rent to someone, avoid this person at all costs. So now that you have all of that context, what do you all think? Do my for rent posts look like scams? Would you have reacted differently in this situation? Let me know in the comments below. And as always folks, thank you for watching. And if you're interested in more content on DIY, do-it-yourself projects and repairs, real estate, finance, or technology topics, folks. Give my channel a look and consider subscribing to it. Thank you, and till next time.